Hi, my name is Donna Jones. I'm the Director of Recruitment and Outreach for the University of Arkansas School of Art, and thank you for joining us today. I wanted to take you through some of our spaces, and the, the space we're going to focus on today is the ceramic studio. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. Since I know this is not exactly how you envisioned your visit um, to ceramics, I wanted to share a little bit of information about the space. It is slightly off of the main U of A campus. So when you come to the main campus, it's a quick walk, bike ride, bus ride, or even car ride over. And it has a lot of different stations for not only wheel throwing, but hand building, slip casting, has a kiln room, lots of different spaces for graduate students and BFA and post -bac students as well. It also has a small gallery. So we'll get started here. And so this is the outside of the space. Um, this is one of the loading areas for the university. And this space on the right is the ceramic studio. Several years ago, they really just outgrew the space that they were in. And so luckily on campus, there was an area that would work not only for the electricity needs of the space, um, but also the space itself. So to haul in different kilns and equipment, um, but to also have some outside space and some parking, it was just a good fit. And so if you're looking at where it is in conjunction to the rest of campus, on the top right of this image, that's Bud Walton Arena. And so basically right down Razorback Road where it intersects with MLK, over in this section of campus, we've got ceramics here. And right down the street too is the printmaking studio. So really close by. Um, the main campus with the Fine Arts Center is just a little further to the top right. So it is quite an easy way to get down to the ceramic studio for classes and things like that. So when you first walk into the space, um, on your left, you'll see the JV Gallery. So this used to actually be a faculty member's office, but now it has been converted into a small gallery space for our students, whether they're doing um, their thesis exhibition, critiques, there's also a ceramic sale that happens at the end of every se semester. So it's a really great place to be flexible for the needs of our students. Um, this is also a BFA area. Um, the lights were off when I was taking this, um, so I apologize for that. But there are three different workstations. So if you are a Bachelor of Fine Arts student for ceramics in the undergrad program, um, chances are you're gonna have your own studio space here, but you also get to share that with other students. And then on the right-hand side, we have our post-bac um, certificate program studios. So that's usually two to three students in the graduate program. They are moving from the undergraduate into potentially a graduate program elsewhere later on. And the post -bac is really a year or more study really dedicated to ceramics. So they have their own space as well. And so if you think about the post -bac studios being on the right hand side here and the undergrad studios being on the left, this is sort of the lobby space. And then you'll walk into the main creation area. Um, so you'll see our different wheel throwing stations on the left. Um, you'll see the hand building tables down the corridor. And if you go up the staircase on the right, those are all dedicated studios for MFA graduate students. So those kind of focusing their MFA in ceramics. You can also see there's tons of storage. And we also have faculty that have offices along the bottom wall here and also back out in that lobby. And so this is just an image when we could still have students in the space um, to, to show you sort of what that looks like day to day when you're working there. And this is also sort of back in that space, the two doors you'll see in the middle there, those are faculty spaces and workshops. At the top, again, graduate studios. And then for larger hand building projects, this is a great area for students to come and let those dry. And so if you walk down that hallway, so when we first looked down and you saw the wheel throwing studios and the tables, at the end of the hall, you're gonna see a schedule board for the kilns. You're also gonna see a mixing station. And so our students actually learn how to mix their own clay. And so you can see all the dry ingredients in the background in the back there. And then on the other side of that hallway is the glaze station. So all sorts of different pigment and color, um, places to mix up color. So when you're putting those finally, uh, finalizations on your pieces and your glazing, um, that's a great place to go for that too. 
And then there's a door kind of to our left here, which then leads into the kiln room. So you can see we've got the Blau kilns in the back. Those are highly specialized kilns, um, actually made in the Netherlands. And so if we have one breakdown, we do have to call a technician from there to come and pick it up and, and fix it. And then you'll see some different areas here where we've got pieces drying out. Um, also some storage. This is to the right of that. So you'll see these smaller kilns all the way up to the larger kilns there. And then on the left-hand side. So we've got several kilns going in there, um, but it also has an outside area. So to get some of that heat out um, when they're all being fired at the same time, it's really helpful. That's just another view of it. And then this is looking back into the room coming out of the kiln area. So again, you can see lots of table space here, um, very clean and tidy as well. And so that is our ceramic studio. So thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, please let me know. My email address is Donna S, D-O-N-N-A-S at uark.edu and hope you have a good day.